Hello everyone, we will learn how to use advanced camera nodons for the first person view. With this setup, we can crouch, zoom in like a sniper, lock targets or even switch between camera views. This is the second tutorial on the advanced camera series. It is an ongoing series so please subscribe to see more. If you want to know the advanced camera nodons, please check the first video which I have put at the top right. Okay, shall we start? Let's go! In the first step, since this is the first person view, we need a person and we need to add all the controls. In the settings, we have to make sure that it is not visible because we do not want to see the head or the body. In the second step, we are going to add the position camera. Before we start, let's take a look at how the first person view is set up. The first person view is a camera system where the camera is placed at the top of the person and the person is looking forward. So we have to put the position camera at the top of the person node on. We go to objects, camera, advanced cameras and then camera position. Here I connect the camera position to the person and then I go to the settings. I select the connection point to be from center to Y positive so that it will be around the height of the person. When there is no camera target node on, the camera will always point towards the center. So in this case, like when we start, we will be able to see the alien there. Let's try it. Yeah, so now you can see the alien. The green bar represents the center of this world and we are looking at it right now. And if I walk left, we will still look at that center. And if I walk right or back, see, the green bar is always at the center. We do not always look at the center of the world, right? So in the next step, we are going to add target camera to define where we want to see. In the third step, we are going to add the target camera. Instead of always looking at the origin, we want the person to look forward. That means the target must be in front of the person. Let's add the target camera first. And then we attach this to the person node on. In the settings, we use the same connection point as the position camera, which is from center to Y positive. And for the offset distance, because we want to look at the front of the person node on, we have to change these to negative value. Any value is fine, but let's use negative 2 for now. Okay, let's test it out. Yeah, so now I no longer look at the origin and I'm looking forward. Yeah, with this, you can see the problem that the camera is spinning too hard. So we have to fix this. This is because this person always turns and let's say when it turns by 90 degrees to this side, this camera also turns with the person. So we are going to make this person not turning. To do that, we go to the settings and then set the turning speed to be zero. Now it is much smoother, we can walk forward, backward, left, right. But we want to be able to rotate the camera right, and that's the next step. So to rotate the camera, we need camera direction. We want to control the direction by the right stick. Let's try connecting this to the direction directly. If I move the stick, I can only move a little bit. That's because now the input to the camera direction is only 1 or minus 1. But we want to rotate more than that. So we have to keep track how much we have rotated. And that's why we need counter node on. And connect up down to the count up port. And the output of the counter to the up down camera direction. We do the same with left right. If you want this to be faster, you can add a map between here and map from value 1 to the larger value. So now I can walk and then yeah, control the camera. See, I can also jump. This is the working first person view. But we are not done yet. We are going to make this person crouch. 
to crouch, it means that the camera position and the camera targets are lower than the current one on y-axis. Let's add the button press A for this crouch action. And then when A happened, right, we, need, we want to reduce the height by 0.5. We add a map and then we connect A to the map. When A is pressed, we want to decrease the value by 0.5. And then because we want to map 1 to negative 0.5, we have to click reverse. Then we connect this to the Y ports. Okay, let's test it. So now when A is pressed, see? I will start crouching. Yay! I can also jump, jump and crouch. Like in the counter strike, crouch jump. Let's add a zoom in feature as well. To zoom in the camera, like in other FPS game, we have to narrow the field of view. In GPT, we define the field of view by using camera angle, which is by default 90. We cannot decrease or increase it during the game. So instead of narrowing down the field of view, we are going to push the position and target forward. Let's say that we want to zoom in when X is held. And then when X is held, we want to move the position and target to the front by, by 10 meters. So we need a map. And when the input is 0, right, nothing should happen, so it is 0. But when it is 1, we want to make it into negative 10. And don't forget to click reverse here. Then we connect this one to C. But, yeah, it's incorrect. Let's see why. Okay, so I'm going to press X. Well, it looks correct, but after I rotate the camera, see, it shifts incorrectly. Yeah, that's because right now the person cannot turn, so the C-X is always point towards the same direction. To fix this, we have to take the angle here into consideration. So we need an angle to position node on. And then we get the horizontal value of the camera direction, which is from this counter. This position is based on the unit circle, but we want to shift it by, in this case, by 10 units. So we need to multiply this with the map value. Let's move this a bit. The first counter is for the horizontal value, and we have to send this to the C ports. For the vertical value, we have to send to the exports. Okay, let's test it. So now when I press X, yeah, I can zoom in. Let's rotate to this from alien. Now I'm looking at the alien, right? If I press X, yeah, the alien, the alien will become closer. And I can move and zoom in. Yeah, there is an issue to this, which is, let's say I'm standing behind of this fluff ball. This fluff ball should block my view, but the zoom in will go past the fluff ball. Yeah, but this is the limitation because we cannot control the field of view. That's it for the basic first person view. Now you can crouch and also zoom in. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to lock targets and switch between targets. Lastly, don't forget to like, bye bye and see you soon.